What's up to all my homies out there in YouTube land? Yes, it's me, Fast Jimmy 71 I am doing a hell of a lot better. Thanks to all the comments and all the personal messages and all the prayers. Man, if it wasn't for you guys and God up above, I don't know where I would have been at. But, you know, just to know that I have friends like you guys, it's, it's, it's just unbelievable, you know. Um, I thank all you guys for all your support and sticking by me when, you know, I really needed it. And, you know, with my family and my friends and you guys, you know, that's enough for me. To, to bounce back and I thank all you guys again thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart um, you know you guys you know you know really supported me and uh, really did an awesome awesome job by sticking by me um, you know because if I wouldn't have had any support like that you know I would have probably been so miserable and depressed and who knows if I would have ever gotten better. Uh, you know, when you're not, when you don't have that kind of support, you know, you're you're by yourself and you, you feel like you're alone in the world. You just, you, instead of, you know, moving up and getting better, you tend to drop and you just, you just don't care about what happens. But you know what? I, I felt that, you know, I gotta, I gotta bounce back from this crap, um, because I'm not gonna let this shit get me down. Trust me. Uh, so again, thank you guys uh, for all the support and all the prayers, and by uh, being there as friends. Uh, and also, I would like to say what's up to all the guys out there that um, that squashed everything. Um, as you remember, the last video I did, you know, I, I uh, wanted to squash all the the bad blood that was going on. Um, it's really cool to see that all these guys um, are talking to each other. I'm talking to some of the guys now. I, talk, uh, I haven't spoken to them personally, but... Uh, we sent messages, uh, they sent me messages, comments and stuff like that. Uh, you know, we all squashed all that crap. Uh, we we, we uh, all subscribed back, to, back, back on each other's pages and stuff. You know, so I'm really hoping that things can go back to normal. Not in the sense of bringing back... The model car familia because i think for me the model car familia is buried uh that that, that that's gone that 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 part of all the shit that went on that that was buried with all that other shit uh there is no model car familia um like i said uh, nobody is above anybody else on here uh Nobody's going to be staking claim on anything. Uh, I I am sure as hell not going to stake claim on anything. I don't wish to and I don't want to. Um, I'm just going to continue to do what I was doing before when we first started. You know, posting videos, showing off our, our, our talent, you know, and just having a good time. That's That's all I really want, you know. Just to have it the way we used to have it, you know, where we enjoy doing videos and not worrying about who was going to get spammed and who was going to send a, a nasty comment or who was going to say something. Or, you know, that's how I really wanted to go back to, you know, the way it was before when we all had a good time. Um, so, like I said, you know, it's really cool to know that uh, a lot of those those things that, that happened in the past it's gone that's that shit don't exist no more uh this is a new beginning so 
we're gonna make we're gonna we're, this friendship between all of us you know it's just gonna stay stronger you know for as long as God permits it that's as uh, simple as I'm gonna put it you know for as long as I'm on this planet you know and I'm on YouTube you know I'm still gonna do my thing you know I'm gonna keep my friends you know be with friends with everybody I'm not gonna hold grudges with nobody I'm not gonna argue dispute with nobody I'm just not going to do that stuff no more. So, you know, whatever happened, like I said, whatever happened in the past, happened in the past, that don't exist no more. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm looking a little scruffy in the face area. Uh, there is a reason for that, uh, but I'm not going to say what it's, why I'm like this. I'm just not gonna say anything right now. I'm just gonna I'm uh I'm I'm gonna let you guys know within about a month and a half from now, two months from now. There is a reason why I'm like this, but I'm not gonna mention what it is. Um But as I do more videos you're gonna see me get furrier <laughs> in this part of the face. Um so you know, like I said, there is a purpose for this. Uh, you're probably wondering what the hell is the purpose of having facial hair on your face well you know when I let you know and I tell you then you'll understand uh, let me see let me see let me see let me see uh, oh I used to be bef uh, way before I got back into modeling again um, I used to be a really big collector of Hot Wheel cars, and um, I noticed that a lot of guys have shown their kit, their their collections and stuff. Quasi Man showed his collection and stuff. Um, I was collecting Hot Wheel cars since the '90s, since the very early '90s when I got married in 1990. I started collecting Hot Wheel cars, and uh, I was doing it, you know. Every day, every every week, I would get paid. I would spend money on Hot Wheel cars. I would go to shows. I would go to the store and be there early in the morning and pick out the best thing, the best cars that would come out and stuff, you know. And I was always looking out for the best deals and stuff. Uh, no jokes aside, I had collected and accumulated about five thousand Hot Wheel cars. <laughs> no shitting. 5,000 Hot Wheel cars. Um, I had kits. I had the sets. I had uh, the, pff, all the editions, all the limited editions, uh, all the treasure hunts. Um, but, you know, I stopped because you can't have two hobbies, you know. Uh, you can only have one, you know, so... I stopped collecting Hot Wheel cars, and I got back into building models, and uh, I didn't have any place to put all these Hot Wheel cars, so I started giving them away as Christmas gifts, birthday presents, just giving them away like, like it was no tomorrow. Um, my collection has shrunk big time, but, you know, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's, it's you know, if I ever decide on getting back into it again, they're only a dollar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, but as of right now, you know, I don't think I'm going to be getting back into that hobby again uh, as a collecting. Uh, like I said, I was very into it religiously. You know, I used to buy high wheel cars like you would not believe. Um, well, I got a couple of them here. I'm going to show you. Uh, these are these are not that old. Um, these are not that old. I bought these blister packs you know to protect the the cardboard i got this one you know i got uh, i got this one here um, i got a bunch of them here as you can see they're stacked up and i got a bunch of them in the garage uh that i have saved i also have some up here as you can see got some here you know these are not that old but these are just ones that I've seen in the store that really caught my eye. You know, I don't have a lot. Like I said, you know, I got this. This one, it's not a Hot Wheels. 
this thing is super super old i bought this car in 1991 so you can imagine how old this is this is by monogram this is a 187 scale this is an actual model car of a 57 chevy and it's plastic it's an actual miniaturized model car uh, I paid a dollar fifty for this at a store and I've had it ever since and I've never taken it out of the box uh, it's by monogram so you can imagine how old this thing is uh, I have this one um, this is the 18 car the, the the van I've had this for years um, like I said you know I had a uh, a lot of hot wheel cars uh, I got also these here these I got I got a few set I got a few sets um, like I said I got about eight or nine sets of hot wheel cars you know so they're they're pretty old you know they've been around for a while you know so um that's really about it man um, you know I uh, used to be a, a very, very, you know, I used to be a really big collector of Hot Wheel cars, but like I said, I don't do it anymore because you can't have two hobbies. You just can't. It, I, personally for me, I can't have it, <laughs> uh, especially now that I'm unemployed and I'm really struggling right now, but you know what? When the time comes that I do get a job or something happens, you know, that I I, I uh, strike it rich or play the lottery or whatever, whatever the case may be. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to not worry about it. Um, oh, I got a little something that I did here a while back. I never got to show you guys this. Uh, I'm running out of time here. This is the chopper that comes with that uh, classic action uh, Monte Carlo uh, I had this little chopper sitting in the box didn't put it together and I just decided to put this thing together and it actually looks pretty cool man this is an actual you know it, it's it's a pretty cool little chopper you know it, it's pretty much detailed you know uh, not that detailed but you know for what it is you know it's a little simple it's not it doesn't have a lot of parts to it um, I painted it purple uh, with a beige seat and you know chromed out the, the engine and uh, the front forks and everything were chromed out and everything and I painted the wheels and the rims and stuff you know so I, I did a little detail to it uh, it's a nice little bike you know um, it's a little something to put together I put that together a while back never just slip my mind to show you guys uh well that's really about it guys that's all i really have to show you guys for now you know you've seen just about everything else in my room um well uh i guess it's time for me to go so like i said man you guys these guys uh, really touched my heart with uh, with all the the great comments and all the awesome messages and stuff that you guys sent me. Um, you know, like I said, if it wasn't for you guys and for my family and everything, God knows where I would have been at right now. Uh, but as you can see, um, I'm back. You know, but I'm gonna give myself a little time. I'm gonna probably give myself a couple more weeks till I jump back into the modeling thing. Uh, so right now I got things marinating in my head right now and I'm you know I got a lot of stuff going on through my brain that I really want to you know jump in and do a lot of stuff you know but you know for right now I'm not uh, so it's time for me to go man because I gotta go to sleep I'm tired so like I always say peace and you know it chicken grease laters <laughs>